Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, then keep watching. Alrighty everyone, so we are cash stuffing week three of September today. We'll be using this $500 placeholder and this apparently is my new bank bag because I cannot find my other bank bag. It's still missing. Luckily, there was no cash in it when it went missing. But yeah, I have no idea where it is. Um, this is just a little, I think it's called Ipsy. My sister gave it to me. She said she didn't want it or need it and that I could use it. So I'm using it for now and it fits the money nicely. So why not? So let's see how much money we will be cash stuffing today. We have 1, 52, 53, 54, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 710, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. So $785 is correct. So let's set this money up. I don't have any ones today, so we can just put the money just like that, which is great. And then let me just set this placeholder right in the back there. And let's get into my spending envelopes first. So these little envelopes right here. So these are the little spending envelopes that sit down in my wallet. And I do spend cash every week. And so I like to stuff these in cash. And this week, my wife will be getting $20. So we will put a 20 into her envelope right there perfect and my envelope will get 20 as well so let's put another 20. now i did have a look through all of these bills to see if there were any star notes and there were not so we are good to just cash stuff all of these bills which is great this next envelope is gas and gas will be getting 20 dollars now we are planning on going on a trip this weekend to Massachusetts, but any extra gas that I will need to spend will come out of the travel sinking fund. So I just keep the 20 every week, no matter what, because I don't go very far with my personal vehicle. So groceries will be getting 50, 100. So $100 in groceries, which is excellent. And I like to do that in 50s and then try to save as much as possible for rollover at the end of the week. Fun will actually be getting $30 today. So since we are going away to Massachusetts this weekend, we are going to visit friends and we are going to the Big E, which is a fair in New England, which is really fun. And we went last year and so we're going again this year and we are planning to have a lot of fun. So $30 for fun, which is great. And then $5 for miscellaneous. I usually try to save this $5, but um, at the end of the week and then use it for a rollover for my mini savings challenges. So I was looking for a nicer $5 bill, but they're all kind of flimsy this week. So that's fine. All right, $5 in miscellaneous. And that is it for these little personal spending envelopes. So we will set these aside. All right, so let's get into my bills binder next. So this is my bills binder and every week I cash stuff my bills into this binder. I break my bills out by four weeks in the month and I just stuff it every week. So first thing is first, rent will be getting $150, so $150. And let's take a look at rent and see how much is in there. So right now we have one, two, three, 54, 50. So we have $450 in rent and our rent did increase. It increases in the winter. And since we are cash stuffing through September to pay October's bills, um, this will be 600 this month. So rent is all set for now. Kia is our car payment, but we actually have two car payments now and we are paying um we have rounded up significantly so that we can pay down the principal balance of the cars a lot faster so we will be transferring 300 this week so what i do now is i stuff i stuff this with prop money and i'm transferring the money over to the account digitally 300 a week so i'm going to put the 500 placeholder in and i'm going to take 200 out 
and that will be our $300 going in. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars in this envelope right now, which has been transferred to the vehicles. So that is all set. And then these 200 are no longer in play. So we will take those out and Kia is all set. So then the next one is AT&T and this is for our phone bills. And this one will get $40. So 20, $40 for AT&T. And let's give this a count and see how much is in here. We've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 120 in AT&T so far, which is perfect. The next one is Progressive, which is our car insurance. We have 20, $30 going in. So I did just increase this um, in anticipation for my next six month bill being more. Um, but I do collect this envelope for six full months and then we pay it twice a year. So Progressive has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, $170 in Progressive right now, which is awesome. All right, so then the next one is storage. Storage is getting $30, so 20, 30. And this is for a storage unit that we have that is holding all of our furniture while we are in a smaller apartment waiting to save up and buy a new home. So storage has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, $90 right now, which is awesome. So $90 in storage, all set. The next one is subscriptions. Subscriptions gets 35 and this is for subscriptions and auto pays. So any auto withdrawing bills have been lumped together into this category. So we have 20, 30, $35 and that is going in. So let's see how much we have now in total. So subscriptions has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105 dollars, which is perfect. So we will put that down in and that one is all set. The next one is credit cards and credit cards will be getting $30, so 20, 30. So this is for the last minimum payment on the last credit card that we have to pay off. And putting the $30 in, we now have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars. So 90 dollars in credit card, which is awesome. And hopefully we can get this one paid off soon. So the next envelope is debt snowball. So this is the debt snowball from all of the minimum payments on the previous cards that we have paid off have been rolled into this. So we have 50, 70, oh, not. Nope, 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 five. <laughs> okay, so $75 will be going into Debt Snowball, 50, 75, and that will then get paid onto this last credit card until it gets paid off. And let's see how much we have in here now. So 75 added in, Debt Snowball has 50, 1, 50, 70, 90, 210, 2015, 2015, yeah, 215, 20, 25. So $225, which is perfect and right on track. So that is all set. The last one here is a new envelope and this is for my wife's braces. So my wife is getting her braces put on next week. She's very excited about it. And so we will be putting $65 to this one. So 50, 65, and this will cover our monthly bill. We've already paid for all of the other expenses that we had to, the down payment and the x-rays and things. Um, yeah, I guess they're called x-rays, molds. I don't know what they do, but everything is all set. And then this will just be her monthly installment um, paying on her braces. So we have 51, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, so 195 so far, which is perfect. So 195 in there, which is great. And I will do the trackers at the end of the month when I pull the money and unstuff it to go back to the bank. Um, nothing into this saving envelope this week, but we will be doing our mini binder savings challenge. So definitely we'll be saving as well. So let's see, we've got some money left here and we are going to stuff sinking funds. And we also need to unstuff some sinking funds since we are going on that trip. So let's get into this binder and see what we are doing.
Alrighty, so the first sinking fund that we'll be stuffing is coffee and we will be putting $20 into coffee this week. So with the 20 added in to coffee, we now have 20, 40, 60, 80. $80 in coffee and we do save this money in order to place Nespresso orders and purchase coffee every other month or so. So that one is all set. Household is getting skipped for now and travel is going to get this last 50 right here. We just unstuffed some savings challenges and put some money to travel. So let's see how much travel has in total right now. We have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. So 293 in travel, which is great. So I'm gonna unstuff that and set it to the side here because we're gonna put it into this little A7 to stuff our wallet that we're gonna take with us on our trip. And like I said, we are going to Massachusetts. We're going to a fair with friends. Um, yeah, and then we will come back to car maintenance because we need to unstuff car maintenance as well. But let's do that at the very end so I don't get my money confused. And car maintenance money will be going back to the bank so that we can go to our appointments. We've got some cars and shops right now, so. Yeah, but let's deal with this travel money first. So again, 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. So 293 is for our trip to Mass this weekend. And let's open up this little A7 wallet. So what I like to do is I like to cash stuff this when I go on a trip and then take it with me and that way we can spend the cash. So $50 right away will be going to gas and that we will definitely need along with the 20 from the other envelope. So 50 into gas, which is perfect. Groceries will be getting, I would say maybe $40 just because we are staying at a friend's and so I don't anticipate we will need to purchase a lot of groceries. It will mostly be takeout and then money at the fair. So let's just do $20 in groceries in case we do pick up some things to eat at the house. And that is that. All right, so then household. I'm gonna do $10 into household just because um, we might need to get something like a toothbrush or an extra sippy cup or something. We will be bringing our son with us this weekend. So if anything comes up and we forget something, we can grab it and make sure we have money for that. Okay, Starbucks is a must. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about Starbucks and Dunkin's when we travel. Um, we are definitely going to need some money there. So why don't we do 30 bucks? So 20, $30 into Starbucks. So that way we can get some um, drinks and maybe a little bite to eat on the road. And lately I have really been loving the pumpkin cream cold foam iced chai tea latte from Starbucks. One of you guys actually commented on my video and told me that you tried that drink and I was like, ooh, that sounds really good. I need to go and try it. Went and tried that drink and it changed my life, literally. I mean, it's the best of two amazing drinks. You've got the cold, the pumpkin cream cold foam from the cold brew and you've got an iced chai tea latte, which is delicious in itself. Take both of those things, combine it together and you have like the ultimate, perfect, delicious fall season drink. I've been loving it. Going to definitely get me one on our trip. Um, takeout and da date night will probably be getting the rest of this money because that will be our money for the fair. So 50, 70, 90, one, let's do $100, 50, 70, 90, 100. So let's do 50, 70, 90, $100 into takeout. And this will be the money that we bring, the cash that we bring to the fair to spend. Hopefully we can stick to just this 100, but I mean, if I need to pull from other categories, I might just because when we go to the Big E, we like to get 
all of the food like I don't go there for rides I mean I go there to like look around and walk around which is really fun and the nice thing about the biggie is it has the state buildings so it has a building for every state which you can go through and see which is really fun to do um, and you can get food from each state and then also you have like all the fair food and the biggie is known for their cream puffs and oh my gosh they are just so delicious so we will be getting us a lot of food at this fair um, date night will get probably the rest of this money here. 20, 40, 45, 50, 55. So, and then I'll put the ones in miscellaneous, I think. So it'll go 20, 40, 45, 50, 55. And this will be, I know we're going out to dinner one night, um, I think Friday night when we get there. So this will be for dinner the first night, which is perfect. So put that money in there. Car maintenance, you guys will see me deal with the car maintenance envelope in just a moment, but I'm not going to stuff it into this binder because it's gonna go to the bank and it's gonna go to the cars. So the rest of the money is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars, and that is going to get stuffed into miscellaneous. So that in there, and that's just extra money if you know we run out of a category or something. And that is it. So last time I stuffed my wallet here and brought it on a trip, I said if I have any money left over, I will unstuff it and put it back into the travel sinking funds. And I just didn't have any left over. So we will see if I have any money left over after this trip. Um, but I am happy with this and I am excited to take this to Massachusetts and just have a really fun time. So that is all set. So let's go ahead and deal with the last of this money, which is $20, $60, which is going into my mini binder. So this is my Save 525 mini binder, and you guys can find this on my Etsy shop if you like it. I'm going to be doing this $65 um, envelope right here. So let's color this in. And I have been liking doing one of these every week with my cash stuffings. Um, I find that if I just do it right along with my cash stuffing, I get that consistency. Um, and then it just gets filled that much faster. And we only have one, two, three, four, five weeks left. And we will be able to unstuff this, which is really exciting. And I almost want to, like, that will be, say, that is the last week of September. And then we've got four weeks in October. So by the end of October, we can unstuff this, which is pretty exciting. So now we need to find the $65 envelope. And there it is. We've got our 20, 40, 65. And I like to try fold it so that it fits nicely in there. So fold it like that, fold it like that. Got the little face showing and then go to the back and slide it right in. So let's take a look at this and see how many we have done. So we have the 100 done, we've got the 65 done, we've got the 60 done and we have a 20 and a five. So it's filling up, which is awesome. So that is it for the mini binder, but let's go ahead and grab out that sinking funds binder again, and let's unstuff the car maintenance envelope. I was gonna just take this car maintenance envelope right with me to the dealership, but I figure I should probably just put it in the bank and then pay on my card. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna unstuff this money and bring it right back to the bank. So let me tell you guys what is going on with the vehicles. So my Kia has been needing a part underneath the vehicle. It's like the protective plastic piece underneath and that's gonna be about $200. Um, and so I'm getting that done. I have an appointment this week to get that done. And then also my wife had got a new vehicle, our older vehicle, which was a BMW, which was old. It was like a 2011. It had a lot of issues and we were constantly bringing into the shop and spending like thousands of dollars on it. Finally, it just died on us. And so my wife got a new vehicle for her business because her business does use a vehicle every day. She drives from place to place. She has a cleaning business, so she is on the road a lot. Um, so she got a new vehicle and that one has been working great. She absolutely loves it. But unfortunately, she was driving on the highway and ran over maybe a nail or something 
going through like a construction zone and popped a tire and it is a brand new tire which is really sad because um my car actually needs new tires and they're old and like i mean we're gonna get rid of them so it would have been nice if it happened on that vehicle but it didn't and so i went and picked her up and we were able to put the spare donut on the tire and then drive it to the dealership and so she needs to actually replace the tire so the car is at the shop right now um and it needs a new tire and the tire is expensive so it's gonna cost us about three hundred dollars to replace just that single tire um it's like a 230 dollar tire and then to mount and balance and put it back on so we're looking at about three hundred dollars there so i'm definitely gonna need like five hundred dollars and i think this is 525 so let's give it a count and see what we have so we have 152 53 20 40 60 84 20 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 500, 510, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 525 is correct. That is what we have. Let's just set it over here for a second so that I can see what is prop and what is not prop because obviously I'm not gonna hand the bank prop money, um, but that money is already sitting at the bank. And so I will just transfer it over into the account um, and then add all of the regular cash and I will have what I need to get those two cars fixed. So we have, let's just pull out just the prop. And I think there's a five in here. Okay, so $50, $75 is already in my savings account at the bank, so I will just transfer that over, and then let's just count up how much here in cash is actually going to go to the bank. So we have 150, 200, 250, 70, 90, 310, 330, 350, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400. 405, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So $450 here. So 450 plus the 75 is 525. 152, 250, 70, 90, 310, 30, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Yes. So $450 in cash and $75 to transfer in. So we have $525 in total and this 450 will be going back to the bank. So let me get my new little bank bag out and pop this down in here. So this 450 will go back to the bank and I will get that tire fixed and get that plastic piece fixed on my vehicle. And that is going to be it for today's video. We have cash stuffed, bills, spending, sinking, we have unstuffed sinking and unstuffed sinking for the car and travel. We did a savings challenge. We did a lot today. So thank you guys for sticking in there with me. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you have not done so already. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.